Welcome to Jukus Organic Company. It's been five years since we shared our story. We are back, this time a little glimpse of some of what we have to do and what we continue to do to share Africa with you. days of being in the city, it's now time to travel to the villages to meet the women we work with. Small car, seven to nine hours drive to the villages, lots of water in the trunk, fruits, bread and sateen. This is the journey. During this journey to the villages, this is where you will meet some of the most remarkable people in the planet. When you stop for bathroom breaks, they would open their doors for strangers, even offer you food and a smile with a selfie. After almost nine hours of being in the car, we are reaching to our destination. As you see, signs of palm trees waving high up in the sky. Although it's getting dark, we are eager to take a break and have a good night rest until in the morning. Everything takes longer in Africa, hence you have to start early. Everything you do, 6 o'clock in the morning, is kind of late actually. But here we are to meet some of the women that we work with. That today is a Friday, they have to be at this market to sell some of other products that they produce locally. Here we are. They are excited to see me. They did know that I was coming. And I'm just as excited to see them. Meet my host in the far left. Of course, she got here a little earlier than I did. This is Sarah and of course Adam and Awa in the middle. These are some of the group of women we work with in this particular village. There are more that we will meet later. We talked to Sarah about how Juca's partnership has helped her over the years. She says she has five kids that she has to take care of with the help of her husband and of course the partnership with Juca's Organic. The joy in her face is absolutely fulfilling. <laughs> she also explains how Juke is Organic always has the best quality products, particularly the red palm oil. She's pretty adamant about it. She explains that the red palm oil you will get here is always the number one. There's no number two, it's number one. The best quality. <laughs> After spending time with Sarah and the rest of the team here at this market, it's time to travel deeper into the villages to meet more of the women partners we work with. I am accompanied by Jenaba to meet more women that we work with in this village many many villages that we've expanded to but this is one of my favorites because these are one of the first ones we started out with back in 2013 after a month and a half of bringing the red palm together from different villages, different women that we work with, and of course all the products that we carry now with Jupiter Organic. This is our facility, this is the shipping point, this is where everything comes together. This is where we do quality control, everything is double checked, triple checked. Everything comes together here. <laughs> Now 
now it's time to go to another country, another village, to more amazing women that we work with. Been up since um, 5 a.m. Right now. cross over to another great country in Africa to be able to bring different products from different parts of Africa. Um, it took us two days to travel to that country. Uh, we took a break six hours at night, slept over uh, small hotels and kept on going. It's all worth it. Hi, um, what's your name? Can you tell me your name, please? Kadijatu. These are our new women partners that harvest uh, our fonio for us and. Konyo is an uh, African whole grain. It's just like quinoa, but it's a healthier choice actually. Uh, substitute for rice. And um, we're really excited about this product. And she's explaining how everyone should love Konyo. And um, she's excited about the great partnership that we uh, have started. After a few days with the Konyo farmers, off we go to another part of Africa, in another country, another small village with women farmers. And this is the beauty of what we do here at Jukus Organic. We are able to go into different countries in Africa. And each country has something unique and special that's indigenous to that land. That they offer us in our shea butter. There are specific countries in Africa and villages that are known for great shea butter, authentic quality, uh, which is completely different country from where we would get our red palm, and different village from where the baobab powder comes from, as well as the moringa powder and the fonio. They all come from different places. Very few products come from the same country or village for that matter. That's the shea butter being transported, of course. After we get it from the villages, we transport them back to our facility where all the products are put together in barrels and then transported by sea into the US, which takes about three months to get it from Africa to the US after we've taken a few months to put these products together. Different from the time that the farmers have taken to put into these products. So by sharing our story, we hope that you will have a glimpse of the love and care that we put into each one of our products that we are able to bring to your households. Of course, a great thanks to the women that we work with that make this possible. And we also thank you guys for making this possible and for helping Dukas Organic to sustain itself and to be able to grow in Africa, in different countries, different villages, and touch different lives. Until next time, we thank you for watching.